very concerned now that social media is an important factor that is driving this youth mental health crisis. New at 11, the U.S. Surgeon General giving the most stern warning yet this week about the impact of social media on kids. And with summer vacation beginning, the concern is heightened tonight. News 6's Treasure Roberts is live in the newsroom. So, Treasure, what are experts saying about this? Well, Lisa, this is Mental Health Month, but these are issues therapists say parents should be conscious of daily. Social media platforms like Instagram over here and even Facebook can be detrimental to the minds and even the lives of children. This has been an issue for some time, but I think the pandemic is one that highlighted it and made it a little worse than what it actually was. Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok, a few of the widely known social media platforms that many kids check every day, even every hour. During the COVID-19 pandemic, social media was an outlet for kids and adults since the outside world was seemingly shut down. Post lockdown, people are still attached to their devices and constantly scrolling. The United States Surgeon General issued an advisory, noting social media can pose risk of harm to the mental health and well-being of children. The advisory says children are in a critical stage of brain development, which makes them more vulnerable. The Surgeon General is calling on policymakers, technology companies, and families to gain better understanding of social media impacts and work to minimize the harms. Licensed therapist Charlotte McCullough says what kids are seeing online can cause anxiety, depression, and even lead to suicide. Social media is one of those things that give them this outlook that tells them how they should look, how they should behave, what they should have. McCullough says some key issues with social media are body imaging and comparison. In their developmental years, they don't have that ability to know that this is deception. You know, for them, this is the truth. Use of these platforms can also lead to bullying, peer pressure, and sexual harassment. Orange County Public Schools is considering joining other districts in lawsuits against multiple social platforms. The districts are accusing these social media companies of public nuisance and negligence. I do feel that there should be more policies and procedures from these platforms around keeping our teens safe. Now, the therapist suggests that you talk to your kids about social media. You should ask them questions like, what do you look at on social media or what are you concerned about? They also say it's important to set a good example. So if you want your kids to limit their screen time, you should show them that you can too. In the newsroom, Treasure Roberts getting results, News 6. Treasure, thank you.